I have to install a remote desktop server, but under Windows 2012 or 2016, I must have a domain controller, an active directory, a DHCP and DNS, a license broker, and also internet information services. For a standalone server in the cloud, for example, it's fat, isn't it? For this reason, I use another solution like TS Plus, because in two minutes, this machine became a remote desktop server. Now, what I want is to protect this server and for that I will use RD Shield. I will to download it and to install it. down this is the main window of RDS shield I will start with external switch protection and with homeland access shield I have users in London United Kingdom check ok also in France And in Germany, in Berlin, especially. I check, it's OK. I just have to click on Activate, and now the rest of the world stay out. It's down. Working hours restriction. Administrators. No restriction. Users restriction. Yes, but I have users in Berlin and other in Paris and other in London. It's not the same house. For this, I have the select time zone, the Olson database, and I can define the time zone of each group and I will create groups London, Berlin, Paris for users and define the time zone do not have problems with hours. Brute Force Attack Defender is an intrusion detection system. Five logging attempts and the address is blocked. What I have to do only to click on Activate. Brute Force Attack Defender is reading logs event and after it will work in background. Okay. This is coming from New France. Okay. And the other guy in Korea. Okay. Now, bye bye, guys. I follow with internal threats protection with one click to secure desktop. I select users. I put it on secure user session. It's the best one for. Complete remote desktop environment. I apply and more. Here I can see what I defined previously and I can be more accurate if I want. But it's not necessary in this moment. I'm going now in system security baseline. I have 
some options here well I check all it's easy I check this very important I click here to import app locus rules it is group policy editor it's important because I define that a user can't launch a program if it is not in program file or windows apply I finish my remote desktop server is secured what I have to do now it's to create users 200 but I'm lucky because I have the emails of each users and I have other shell account maker I got to select one of these file for example England open import I have the list of email username and automatically a password generated London group subnomen host user cannot change password because I don't want that a user put an A B C D one two three four password that's the most used password in the world password never expire and create account it's like 20 no time for cup of coffee is down and come back here London Hello, select time zone, Europe, London, select. I define this group as priority because my users are in user group and London. It's London that is priority. Apply. Well, and after I will do it with German and French people. back to the list and now I will send to each user an email with information to login hmm. no time for cup of coffee down I put my email in this list and um, what is that is the mail that I receive and each user receive I have the RDP file I have the address of the server the login and password copy Past. Okay. Windows is creating my profile. Other shell is updating my desktop. And um, in fact, what it did first time. You. If I click right click on the desktop, I can go to the control panel. Right click on the taskbar is not working. If I open the explorer, I can see and can't access to the hard disk of the remote desktop server. 
if I go here and type this now it's the same with Internet Explorer I can't type this because it's not working and also if I go here I have only the general tab the other tabs are hide it and also the ribbon is added and options that like organize is not active I am in my profile and I can't get out my profile here if I do right click I have not the, re the Wenix menu right click nothing if I click here Windows PowerShell not working command prompt not working control panel not working and a lot of other things like this I did it using RDS shield and now I have to create the rest of the users and the job is finished. Thanks for your attention. Bye.